Three major roads in Madison County will eventually be expanded. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey announcing funding for those projects while visiting the Rocket City Thursday. News 19's Emily Mosner, though, is digging into the history of one of those projects, Highway 53, and shows us where that work will happen. Governor Kay Ivey announced plans to expand parts of Highway 53. However, those plans are not exactly in line with what local officials have been trying to get for years. The actual part that will be expanded is a very short, less than one mile stretch of road. Now, I'm in the car, I've got my seatbelt on, I've got the engine running, and I'm going to go ahead and drive on that section to show you what exactly is going to be expanded. The Highway 53 widening will add an additional lane in each direction. Uh, along the corridor of Highway 53 from north of Taurus Drive to north of Harvest Road. Plans announced Thursday will make this stretch of the two-lane highway a four-lane highway, lanes that are very much needed. There's over 17,000 cars that pass through the Harvest uh, and Highway 53 intersection on an average daily basis. That's, that's way too many. State Representative for the Harvest Area, Andy Witt, says plans to add lanes have been discussed for years. She predates me. It's decades in the process and, and, and been worked on. But he says the widening of the one mile stretch is a good starting point. It is a big improvement and it's certainly a step in the right direction and it's actually opening the door for that next phase or where I would like to see it to get to past old railroad bed. In addition to traffic backups, Witt says safety is a big concern in that area. I was a volunteer fire department member up there for 10 years and I worked many uh, tragic wrecks there on Highway 53. I reached out to the Alabama Department of Transportation to get a timeline on when construction could start. Spokesperson Tony Harris tells me LDOT is still in the preliminary engineering stages. Is the dirt not going to start moving until about 2024 then, do you think? Uh, it, probably sometime uh, early 2024, mid-2024 would be my guess at this point. Harris tells me while the short expansion won't happen for a long time, LDOT does have a good start on all three of the projects announced Thursday. Reporting in Madison County, Emily Mosner, News 19. For more details on the work slated to be done on Highway 72 and Interstate 565, just check out this story on WHNT.com.